I wanted to get my thoughts out on this subject since I don't often talk about toys outside of Thundercats and even less do I talk about the TMNT until recently. However, I've been watching how the Turtles toy lines have been expanding over the years and, of course, collecting along the way, whether it be NECA, Super 7, or even the Loyal Subjects awful BST line. But if you notice, there's one name I passed up. A name that, years ago, was the undisputed king of the TMNT when it comes to toys. That would be Playmates Toys. Playmates put out a swath of turtle toys from 1988 to 1997, and then again from 2003 to 2019. They were the main Turtles toy line people from the original cartoon, all the way to the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But after Rise, they... haven't been doing well. And while I love the Rise cartoon, the toys weren't very good. This is primarily because the designs just didn't translate well into 3D. That's not talking about the quality of the show or fan reception, I'm just talking about the toys. However, what they put out since then has been a complete mess. What do I mean? Well, let's look. In the early 2010s, Playmate released a Classics line, one that put the TMNT in a 6-inch scale with more articulation than other figures. Using this buck, they also put out movie figures for the first and second movie. And get used to these molds because it seems to be the one that Playmates wants to constantly put out. After Rise came and went on the toy shelves, Playmates has been constantly reusing the mold from the Classics line. How many times? Let's see. They've reissued them all with red masks, all red masks in black and white, under a Cobra Kai crossover no one asked for, and finally in a two-pack collection with two new molds, Shredder, who goes with Donatello, and a Triceraton with Raphael. But there's multiple issues here that I'll get into if you guys want me to review them. But the main one is that the new villains are shorter than the Turtles. Donatello looks like he can just throw Shredder out the window. But these aren't the only molds Playmates has been tossing all over the place. In 2012, they made comic-accurate turtles, and they were terrible. Michael at Retro Blasting did a video on a set of them that goes all over the issues I have with them. A link for that video is in the description. Needless to say, they're the only turtles I ever returned to the store. But Playmates has decided to release them three times now. Once in 2012, another time in black and white, and a final time in a box set with a recolored original Splinter and a slightly remolded and recolored original Shredder to try to flesh it out. They all look terrible. On top of that, though, is their reissues of the original toys. These I don't have such an issue with, but I will touch on that later. Playmates produced so much TMNT stuff in the 90s that it's unbelievable. So why aren't they digging deeper in their catalog to put out stuff people want? Well, they made a half-hearted attempt at it with a Movie Stars TMNT pack but there were tons of problems with it. Like the new toys weren't made out of the flexible plastic the originals were, and the weapons were just from the vintage turtles. But worst of all, they didn't even use the Movie Star Splinter mold. They just tried to pass the original Splinter toy off again with a repaint. I'll do a full review on this when I get a complete vintage movie collection, but no one was really impressed with this attempt. And even now, they're doing a Last Ronin figure that looks terrible even compared to the NECA figure, even though they're close in price. What are these people doing? But lastly, let's talk about their reissues of the original line. Like I said earlier, I never mind this. As we get older, our original toys will start to break down. Reissues give us a chance to own the toys again that will last longer, allow newer collectors to hop in at the ground level, and are always fun to pass on to your kids so they can enjoy them as well. And some of the ways they package the reissues have been pretty neat. The sewer playset box art for the heroes and the mutant module for the villains. But by far my favorite is the most recent reissue because it brings back the original packaging art, which I love. I even bought an extra set just to keep on card, something I never do. But this isn't without issue either. The party wagon is good, but what happened with the blimp? From the inflated portion down, it's not a reissue of the original blimp. It's the 2012 version of the blimp, just with the original's inflated part. And odder still, they actually altered the original box art for it. I don't know if they're genuinely trying to be deceptive or if they just don't know what they're doing. Why was this done? Did they not have the mold for the original anymore? Does anyone genuinely have an answer? There are likely people watching this that have no idea how big the TMNT were in the 90s, especially with Playmates. So let me put this in perspective. The only thing in the 90s, to my knowledge, that challenges, if not surpassed, the size of the Ninja Turtle craze in the earlier part of the decade is Pokemon. Yes, 
It was that big. Look, I know I probably sound just like an old man yelling at a cloud, but there's more sadness here than anger. I loved this toy line when I was a kid. It was so inventive. It had so much more detail in the sculpts than anything else at that time. It makes me sad to see this once titan flounder about rudderless with a property they used to be kings of. What should they do, though? Well, if anyone from that company is listening, here's what I think you should do. Start reissuing the original playsets as well. Heck, shoot over to some of the more desirable figures too and reissue them. People will scramble to get them. And don't stop there. Use the 2003 Turtles. Reissue some of them too. The fast forward Turtles being reissued would be awesome. I know I'd buy some. I know this has been kind of a disjointed ramble, but I do love these toy lines and I hope the company finds a direction again. Do you love any of the lines I mentioned? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Merchandise May is upon us, so tell me what TMNT figures you want me to cover first. The Playmate 2 packs with the new characters mentioned earlier, or the Loyal Subjects ones. Let me know. Take it easy.